Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a fast one, you guys. We're using proportional relationships here, so we're skipping module 17.2, uh, so if you're looking for that, uh, I'm not doing that this year. Anyways, uh, Integrated Math 2, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. Okay, here we go. So our, how can we use similar triangles to solve problems? Okay, so, and don't forget, you guys, we're going to be using uh, 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 scientific calculators and module 18 when we get into the sine and cosine and the trig ratios and sine cosine and tangent uh, anyways we'll talk about that then so but you need a calculator soon so find the indicated dimensions okay so here are the shadows of a meter stick and a palm tree given at the same time find the height of the tree okay so we're assuming this tree stands uh, straight up so we're assuming that's a right angle and we're assuming that this is a right angle that we're standing this meter stick up typically you guys it's it's usually a nice uh, rounded six foot person and these are in feet right here but this is in meters so anyway so what happens you guys is since it's at the same time and you got the Sun way up here at millions and millions and millions of miles away at the same time, we can conclude that these two angles right here are congruent to each other right there. So those triangles are similar by angle-angle similarity. So we can do lefty over righty equals lefty over righty. Do you remember doing that? Okay, so when we do that, oops, I did righty over lefty. So righty over lefty equals righty over lefty. All right, and then cross multiply. So we get uh, 1.6H. Uh, equals 7.2 and so we get uh, four and a half meters so 4.5 meters is going to be the height of this tree and a meter is what about three feet so a little over um, <clears throat> three times three is 12 and then a half of that is about 15 feet or so 15 16 feet whatever something like that okay so one more you guys and then uh, I mean I can keep doing these forever you guys but same sort of thing so a hiker wants to find the distance across a canyon okay so uh, this distance she wants to find this distance across the canyon and so she what she does is she calculates uh, from the, uh, these two points a nice perpendicular segment is 400 feet and then she does another perpendicular segment of I'm not sorry not perpendicular she keeps going straight and goes 600 feet and then does a perpendicular segment right here and does 327 okay and so um, uh, what she can do is uh, since these angles are congruent right here she can set up uh, uh, the triangles are similar let's see what triangles are similar so V W Z so V so no markings to the red to the blue so no markings to the red to the blue so X Y Z right there okay all right so then we can set up a nice proportion lefty over righty lefty over righty so 327 over D equals 600 over 400 I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out the zeros and then uh, and then uh, oops I didn't I cross multiplied first okay well that's cool we can do that next okay so here we uh, divided by 600 and then I canceled out the zeros right there I clicked uh, one too many right there let me go back so I canceled out those zeros and then 2 goes into 4 twice 2 goes into 6 3 times and then 3 goes into 3 once into that 0 times so we have 27 so 109 so it goes into that 109 times 109 times 2 well double that is 218 so um, this is talking in uh, feet right here so it's going to be 218 feet uh, feet across the, the canyon right there okay all right you guys if you are in our class uh, that's going to be your assignment take care